Schizophrenia is a severe form of mental illness. Among all the mental illnesses, schizophrenia is having, if it is not detected earlier and if it is not treated properly, it can lead to a worse prognosis. In our population, out of uh, 100 people, at least one person will be suffering from schizophrenia. So, if you look at the population of India, around 300 uh, crores, then at least 3 crores of the people in India will be suffering from schizophrenia. Usually the age of onset of schizophrenia is between 15 to 25 years. Both males and females are equally affected by schizophrenia. Then schizophrenia can affect uh, both rich people, poor people, it can uh, affect all the different type of uh, legions. So there is no difference in the caste, creed, financial status uh, for schizophrenia to be affected. When we look at uh, what is the cause for schizophrenia, then definitely we can say that it is biological. The main problem is inside the brain. It is due to a neurochemical imbalance. So very simply if we can say that uh, schizophrenia is due to increased dopamine activity in the brain. So, uh, what are the common symptoms of depression? Uh, for the, what are the common symptoms of schizophrenia? Uh, generally, we can uh, broadly divide the symptoms of schizophrenia into mainly positive symptoms, negative symptoms, and cognitive symptoms. Positive symptoms are mainly delusion and hallucination. Delusion is a fixed, abnormal type of belief. For example, there are uh, delusions like delusion of persecution. Delusion of persecution means uh, the person may believe that somebody is trying to kill him, follow him, trying to put poison in his food, etc. Delusion of uh, reference means the person may believe that uh, people are talking about him, people are laughing at him, etc. Then there are uh, some peculiar type of delusions like his thoughts are taken away by somebody, somebody is inserting thoughts in his, into his mind, his thoughts are being read by other people, uh, for example, thought broadcasting. Then, when we come to uh, ha hallucination, the commonest type of hallucination in schizophrenia is auditory hallucination. That means person can hear somebody is talking to him, sometime two or three, or more than two people are talk to, talking to him, uh, talking bad about him in derogatory manner like that. Then, what are the negative symptoms of schizophrenia? Negative symptom means uh, the person may not have interest in uh, taking care of himself, he may not have interest in attending functions, he may not have interest in, in his routine activities, taking bath, taking uh, shaving, comping, changing clothes, etc. He may not go for work, he may not be able to enjoy music, enjoy what he was doing, enjoying earlier. Then uh, he, can, he may not be able to express his emotion. His uh, total vocabulary, the talk will be very limited. So these are the main negative symptoms. Then when we look at cognitive symptoms, the person with schizophrenia may not be able to take decisions. His executive function will be impaired. He may have poor attention, concentration, memory, decision making capacity, etc. So these are the main three different symptoms, broad symptoms of schizophrenia. Then when we look at uh, what, what are the different options in the treatment of schizophrenia. I told you that um, schizophrenia, to get it corrected for the uh, best prognosis, we have to detect it earlier and we have to treat it effectively. So uh, there is it's a team effort. So of course the team leader will be a psychiatrist. So under the guidance of a psychiatrist, the main treatment is mainly ph pharmacological, that means drug treatment in schizophrenia. So we have got uh, different types of antipsychotics. Mainly the antipsychotics will, uh, uh, for the positive symptoms, it will uh, reduce the uh, activity of dopamine in brain and for negative symptoms, it will improve the activity of dopamine in brain in certain parts. So we have to have a drug which will uh, selectively decrease the activity of dopamine, dopamine in one area of the brain and selectively increase the activity of dopamine in some areas of the brain to improve the cognitive and negative symptoms. So, we have got different types of drugs, uh, see compared to previous era, now uh, the drugs which, we, which are available here, now which have got very lesser side effects and the efficacy is much more than compared to the older generation antipsychotics. So, um, uh, we, have, we, can, we have to treat the patients with uh, antipsychotic drugs, 
Then sometimes if the schizophrenia is very severe, if the patient is very suicidal, or if the patient is homicidal, if the patient is not taking food or fluids, if the patient is not taking medicines, or if the patient is not responding to medications, then we can have the option of modified PCT, modified electroconversion therapy. Of course, there are other therapies like transcranial magnetic stimulation, RTMS. We have a transcranial direct current stimulation. So all these uh, treatment options we can utilize in the management of schizophrenia. Then, uh, then comes the role of a psychologist or counselor. We have to uh, give supportive psychotherapy to the patient. We have to give psychoeducation both to the patient as well as to the relatives. Then uh, many patients, uh, the prognosis when we consider, uh, we can say that 30% of the schizophrenics will have complete cure. They may not, uh, they don't, they may not need further treatment. 30% needs continuous uh, treatment with a regular follow-up. Follow -up. And then the next uh, remaining, we can say 30% of the patients, they may go for institutionalization. So the early treatment is the best in the management of schizophrenia. Now, other than drug treatment, I told you about psychological therapies. We have to give individual counseling to the patient. We have to give psychoeducation. Then, uh, I told you that 30% needs, uh, may, may not have complete improvement. 30% may go for institutionalization. So, basically what I am saying that many of these patients, even though we are giving complete, uh, we, are, we are giving effective treatment, they may have residual symptoms, mainly negative symptoms and cognitive symptoms. So, in order to send back the patient to the community and in order to uh, earn money or whatever on their own, we have to rehabilitate these patients based on their deficits and based on their interest in activities and their educational background and their skills. So th there comes the importance of rehabilitation. So by giving pharmacotherapy, psychological intervention and rehabilitation therapy, of course, many of the schizophrenics in our population can be treated effectively and we can bring back the patient to the normal, their uh, life and we can in that way, we can bring the economy of the society back into our